This Monday, the 17th of April, sees us start our spring nutrition kickstart. It's another 28 day nutrition kickstart. And this one, we are focusing on macro tracking. We are going to be weighing and measuring our food and inputting this data into the MyFitnessPal app. To be prepared before we start this kickstart, ensure you have downloaded the MyFitnessPal app onto your phone or tablet, set up your account and added CrossFit underscore Chilton, that's CrossFit underscore Chilton, as a friend on that account. Then ensure your diary settings allow that your food diary is viewable by your friends. That way, if you have any questions during the kickstart and you need me to have a look at your own food diary, I can do so. Secondly, ensure you have a set of scales that will allow you to weigh and measure your food. The best way I find to do the weighing of the food is to put the plate on the scales, zero out the scales, and then measure the differences as you add different foods onto that plate. If you've never used MyFitnessPal before, I suggest you use these coming days before the Kickstart begins to practice with it and to start inputting your food on there. It's got a really extensive database of food items on there and the majority of them are fairly accurate. When you first start using MyFitnessPal, it is a quite a long process because you won't have any foods logged onto that app and therefore you're inputting everything either manually or it does have a scan barcode option if you're eating uh, more processed food. After you use it for a little while, then those commonly used foods are already on your diary and it's much faster to input. And because most of us tend to stick to uh, a few meals that we eat regularly, especially things like breakfast and lunch, it becomes quite easy to in input that data onto there. This macro tracking kickstart is reliant upon you inputting your data accurately to get the most out of it. And that means making sure you're not just eyeballing your food, you are actually weighing it. It's only by getting this really accurate data, we can track the effectiveness of your diet. My personal belief is that this is the most critical way to maximize your results with regards to your body composition and also with regards to your performance, your calorie intake, your fat intake, your protein intake, and your carbohydrate intake are super important for seeing you get the results you want to get. And in terms of getting the results you want from CrossFit, nutrition is more than half of that factor, especially if you are looking at body composition changes. But do not disregard it with regards to your performance because if you are taking on the wrong amount of macronutrients, the wrong balance or not enough calories, not enough protein, not enough carbohydrate, et cetera, et cetera, then you will see your results diminish. You will see a huge increase in your performance if you get your diet on point. So take the next few days to get yourself prepped, get my fitness pal on there, get yourself a set of scales if you haven't got one already, dig out of the cupboard if you have, and make sure you're ready to start on Monday, the 17th of April. The first thing we're going to do for week number one is very simple. All I want you to do is input your food into my fitness pal every single day. That's everything that is calorific. So any food or drink. You can input your glasses of water in there if you want to check your hydration levels as well. But basically, as much data as you can get into that, don't miss anything out. All the good stuff and the bad stuff. From there, we can work around what we need to do to make some positive changes and get the results that we need. That's all we're going to do for week one. 28 days of this kickstart, I'll be introducing new layers to this as we go forward. If you've done one of these kickstarts before, and you maybe know that uh, we look at calorie intake, we look at protein intake, get back into those habits from week one. So get back into making sure you're hitting the calories you need to be hitting, you're hitting the protein levels you need to be hitting. If this is the first time you've done this, just worry about inputting food into my fitness power and getting that baseline number where we can work from here. Remember these kickstarts are ways of building good habits that you can carry forward beyond the 28 days of the kickstart. So the most important thing is you, you learn from this one and you take these lessons forward with your diet. I'm excited to get this started and see some of you getting even better results when you get your nutrition on point. 
Any questions before we start, please drop me an email, jeremy at crossfitchildren.com or a message on the Boxmate app. Thanks guys.